Did you know that in most counties in Alabama, you tip your sheriff? So the state of Alabama provides a certain amount of money to sheriff's departments to pay for inmates' meals. This can be a little more than a dollar a day for state inmates and a few dollars a day for federal inmates. According to a 1939 law, any money left over from those funds goes to the sheriff. And that's a little weird. The law says that the leftover money from the inmate food fund goes into the sheriff's pocket. Now obviously a system like this could be easily exploited. Fortunately, in Alabama, everyone has been very responsible and there have been no problems. For Reckon, I'm Ian Hoppy. I'm kidding, there's been a ton of problems. In 2006, a Mobile Sheriff resigned after pocketing inmate food money that he promised he wouldn't. In 2009, in Morgan County, the Sheriff was put in jail by a judge until he promised to properly feed the inmates. Speaking of Morgan County, the current Morgan County Sheriff is in a legal battle after pulling $150,000 from the prison food fund to invest in a car dealership that almost immediately went bust. For decades, sheriffs have admitted to pocketing prisoner food money, but have never faced charges because the law allows them to do this. So how is it possible that there's a law on the books that allows a public official to take taxpayer money outside of their salary? The law dates back to the Depression. As a cost-saving measure, the state legislature passed a law that basically told Alabama sheriffs that feeding prisoners was on them. The state was going to give them so much per inmate, but if they overspent, they'd have to cover the difference out of their own pocket. If they managed to feed them on the cheap, the sheriff could keep the difference. But the law never changed, and now, nearly 80 years later, the prison population has exploded. So what started as a law to shield the state from having to cover prisons that go over budget has turned into a lucrative side gig for some county sheriffs. Being frugal can net the sheriff a nice bonus. But if they're willing to be outright unethical, they can earn a small fortune. The law has remained unchanged, largely for three reasons. First, some counties prefer the system because it keeps the cost off them. Individual counties could pass legislation to take control of the food fund, but only a little over a dozen counties have actually done this. The second reason is because most sheriffs don't want to change. Every few years, a scandal pops up in which a sheriff is skimming just a little bit too much off the top, and the Alabama Sheriff's Association will come out and defend the law. The Sheriff's Association in the past has said that there's really not enough money to make a large profit. Of course, that was before a couple of sheriffs were busted, making hundreds of thousands of dollars. At one point, the Sheriff's Association agreed to legislation to change the law in exchange for pay raises, but for one reason or another, it never made it to the governor's desk. The last and probably biggest reason for this law remaining unchanged is because I think nobody knows about it, or they think that it's already been changed. But with the exception of just a few counties, it hasn't. And to this day, the majority of Alabama sheriffs are incentivized to underfeed inmates. I'm Ian Hoppy for Reckon. It's over for real this time. Thank you.